Good morning from the strawberry garden. And this was just a little area in the front yard with a stump and slowly they multiplied as strawberries do. And now I have a patch here. I also have three rows out there. And I also have a transplanted bunch over there. So I, I just wanna say, I hope you grow strawberries. So take a look. And if you look carefully, you'll see that they are starting to pop out everywhere. And I will get closer, but it's just so exciting. So my tips for you are space them out. I had to clear out all, this was all full with strawberries. And I used to cover them every winter. I'm not gonna do that anymore because they had to grow their green leaves all the way back and they did not produce this early. So in zone 8A, I'm not gonna cover probably in colder places you need to cover, but we got four days of below freezing. We got snow. Um, look at all those in there. So the main thing is that they need to be able to get sunlight on the fruit. And if they get too thick, like even right here, so thick, there's a, not a lot going on right there because they can't get the light. So, what else did I want to share? Oh, of course, slug traps. That's just beer. I think there's other things you can use, but beer works awesome. Um, just in a shallow lid, and that's how I catch some slugs. There's one trying to live. No, sorry, buddy. You looking for the beer? So I'll put more beer out tonight. Um, let's pick some. Ooh, I see some. I've been working on my little thing. My husband got a free bench from a remodel. What? Brand new bench. Oh my goodness. Yep, it's happening. It's happening. And these I'm really excited about. Hopefully it's clear. Um, because they're doing what I wanted them to do, which was be on the side. This is kind of how I had seen it done at a berry farm that I drove by. They had them up on mounds like this. <clears throat> Look at this one growing in the grass. Oh my goodness. That's too cute. I'll have to leave that to show Dixie. But having them on the side means they can have a better chance of getting sun. I'll let those ones go a little bit longer. And look at all these to come. Oh my goodness. We are strawberry rich. And that is true riches in my eyes. Living the dream. Living the dream. Can mean whatever you want it to be. These ones are just hanging off the side. Which is what we wanted to make them easier to pick and able to get sun. I'll leave that one a little bit longer. Wow, they're coming in over here too. Most of these look like they could have an, a little bit longer, yeah. Look at all those. So I really like these dig and flip beds for strawberries so when this is done this season in the fall I might move some strawberries when these plants are done <clears throat> I'm just gonna finish picking these and then there's a bed over there that I want to show really quick all right here's patch number two technically but tech three today we just picked these last night so most of them were kind of waiting on I think oh waited too long on that one 
If I went through and pulled them all out of the dirt, you know, put them, propped every patch of berries up on something, would they do a little better? Yeah. See, I like to pick the small ones too to encourage energy to the other fruits that are there. I guess we picked this pretty good last night. Still waiting on most of these to turn just a little further. And I feel like when they have all day to ripen, they do really well. So that threw that one out. I'm gonna throw that one out because it's already rotting. So let's let the plant focus its energy on a good fruit. So not a ton this morning. That's fine. I have so much to process today. I don't know about you, but I could seriously watch people harvest stuff all day, especially on a rainy day like we're going to have today. I will be watching videos. I always save your videos and I watch later. Uh oh, what do we got here? That was a snail eating that one. So we need a beer trap out here. <clears throat> But yeah, I if I don't catch your video right away, it's because I it's during the week and I'll stick it in my watch later and watch it Saturday morning and Sunday morning and rainy days. I found a big one. Ooh. Now that looks like a full-size strawberry. It's got a little nibble out of it. We'll wash it really good. Nobody'll notice. But yeah, it's fun when you start getting actual size strawberries, um, especially when your kids expect them to look like they look from the grocery store, those humongous strawberries. And <clears throat> strawberries are heavily sprayed and also expensive. And so when you go to try to buy organic, it's like, oh my goodness, even more expensive. But they are a heavily sprayed crop just because obviously they have a lot of predators. These are not quite ready. Pretty soon. I gotta go back to the front garden and get the rest of those. We'll definitely end up with a with a pound today. That is just unbelievable to me. That's the kind of treasure hunt I could do every day.